Waterman, and I'm a professor at Carleton University in the music program, and I do research on the relationship between music and the social in Canada. <laughs> so this is part of the Resonance Project, which is a research creation project where musicians relate and make work together collaboratively in response to art exhibitions at the Carleton University Art Gallery. Into the space, getting just swallowed up in it. In the fall, we worked with Kathy Kennedy and Gabrielle Darmou. And this kind of relax. It's about the face. Two expert improvisers, vocalists uh, from Montreal and two community musicians in Ottawa, <laughs> Ashu Bost and Isabella Blaine Longo. And together we visited the exhibition, we did lots of discussions, we played with the Baroness's poetry, with her image, with ideas of posing. We talked a lot about this maverick, dada, feminist figure. And then they created work together, which we then filmed as kind of works in progress. Elsa von Freitag Loringhoven was an early 20th century figure in the Dada movement, so this avant-garde art movement. She was born in Germany, but she lived a lot of her life in Berlin, in New York, uh, in Paris. She moved in the same circles as people like Man Ray and Marcel Duchamp, um, but she was one of the very few women in Dada who, uh, and, and was you know, kind of marginalized and, and bit written out of that history for a really long time. So that's the impulse behind this exhibition, is the, the recovery of Baroness Elsa, which one of the co-curators, Irena Gemmel, has done through her book on, on the Baroness. And then having these artists come and take a look at the work and not necessarily respond in a, a literal way, but think about that bigger idea of what it means to express gender and sexuality in ways that are not socially normative or, 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 or work against the grain a little bit or to just take up space and demand that that be normative. <laughs> the second part of the project, which we're calling Cosmic Chemistry, is a concert after three days of intensive workshops with singers from Tone Cluster, quite a queer choir in Ottawa, and artists that have been contracted by Court Ottawa, Queer Arts Collective, basically members of the LGBTQ2SIA plus community who identify as performance artists in one way or another. The last couple of days, we've been doing intensive choral improvising together. And tonight, we're drawing those improvisations into specific pieces that relate to the Baroness's poetry and to her flamboyant persona. So we're literally using her poses, for example. And then um, some of our singers, who are also very good movers, are moving in response to that initial pose idea. And the choir is making music prompted by that movement. All right, shall we try that with everybody with a new loop? Ready and go. Uh, 
Sound painting is the name that has been given to this choral movement, you might say. Something like this is a held note. Let me see, this is a pointillistic kind of thing. These are scrunchy sounds. And then, um, you know, this is like the whole ensemble. This is half the ensemble. And then we do this beam. So there are a lot of different um, dialects, you might say. The thing about it is that it's based on improvisation. So when you give a cue like this, you never know what you're going to get back. And so it is reciprocal. We are very inspired by what they give us, and then that inspires us to, to give more information with different hand signals. <laughs> There's 16, 17 performers. I don't know what they're going to sound like, so I have to make the decisions right there and then at all times. All the singers are very generous, and that's really what you need um, in a setting like this. The types of sounds that we make are the types of sounds that aren't welcome in general life. You know, they could be perceived as a disturbance of, of public order, I guess. So to do them, um, there's something quite daring about doing it, and I feel like this group is particularly open-minded and uh, kind of ready to... Yeah, there, there's not much second guessing, I'd say. I think the Baroness has given me a little, a little shove right now at this time in my practice and reminding me to keep it weird and um, take risks. You know, the sounds we make aren't conventional, but they don't need to be foreign to us. They can still be part of of us and our vocabulary. So the Resonance Project seeks to understand how people can collaborate across boundaries. The boundary between music and art. America. between expert and um, beginner, maybe. Uh, boundaries between social norms and maybe more marginalized positions or across different points of view. Um, and, you know, even within a particular community, people have lots of different ideas and points of view. So we can find that within the queer community very easily. Generational differences, um, preference differences, aesthetic differences. So how do we bridge difference through artistic collaboration? That's the central question. <laughs>